buying books and reading books, completely different hobbies. And unfortunately, I have both. Much like a serial killer, I like having all of my books, like little trophies on my bookshelf. Collecting books is like collecting wines for me. They have to kind of age on your bookshelf before you're mentally and just aesthetically ready for them. <laughs> Welcome to my channel, my name is Daniela and today I want to talk about my no year book buying ban. No, I don't think I said that right. My book buying ban year. There's so many words in there, I just... Let's talk about the year I'm not buying any books. Yes. <laughs> so I wanted to just make this video to kind of keep myself in check and kind of give myself a progress of all my achievements and what I've done so far and what I plan on doing so I can look back at it and be like you can do it there's just a little bit more we got this so let's start from the beginning first things first is what is a book buying ban it's basically a year or a month where you say to yourself that you are not going to buy any books any be it um physical digital any kind of books like you will not purchase them as the name would imply book buying ban for this year i wanted to buy nothing um now there is an exception to this uh i am allowed well i am allowing myself to buy books when it comes to presents so if i am gifting them to friends i can buy them but because they're not mine like they're not going to my bookshelves so for me that's a different thing and also when i do that it's not just randomly gifting give people books though i love that it's not that it's basically for uh their birthdays or christmas so it's an event it's not just all over the place just because i feel like it because that's very important otherwise i would buy my friends books just because so I have that little dopamine of buying the book itself but I cannot do that like that, that's not in the purpose but I'm derailing so let's go back to the no book buying ban so why am I doing this basically last year I found a secondhand bookstore and I went crazy I ordered like three times from there and each time I bought like 30 to 50 books which is insane but it is a secondhand bookstore and the books were dirt cheap like they were so so cheap and um the thing about them they didn't have a description they only had uh the cover picture the amount of pages the author and the price so i could have googled all of them but i didn't do that i just ordered a ton of books so now i have to actually go through them and i feel like if i don't give myself a limit or like a ban I will not go through all of them. I'd just be more motivated to buy other books because every single year there's so many books that are published and that I want to read that I have to just get a grip of myself and say like, no, this year you're not buying anything anymore um, because that's very important. I have so many books. I At the beginning of the year, I had like over 200 books that are unread, which is ridiculous. So I want to make sure I get a grip of myself <laughs> that I at least go through all of them if that makes sense and to help me with that I also have a reading journal um, I do have a video about it if you like to see it and in this besides the fact that I made it um, a goal for the year to buy no books uh, I have my personal library where I basically can you see that where I basically wrote every single book that I have in my library and as I read them, I color it in. So all the books that are colored are books that I've already read and the ones that I haven't colored are books I am still to go through and the list keeps getting bigger because I do receive books as presents and because I have this thing where I wrapped at the beginning of the year 12 books and I don't know what these books are, so I didn't write them down in my reading journal. So as I read them, I put them in the back, um, like I add them to my personal library in here. So that's why a lot of the books um, 
are colored towards the end. I don't have necessarily an order in which I read them. Um, but this keeps me accountable and also it motivates me so much to just go through all the books I have and I also found so many books that I just love from my library that could have stayed there for a long time before I would have gotten to them. Um, so this is a great way to just read what you have and then discover again what you have and I don't know it's just it's good to keep yourself motivated and accountable because accountability is very important in a no buy book year yes so I would say that for me the main motivation was to not buy books and to go through every single book that I have other people have different motivations also the book band doesn't have to be one year you can do it for like a month and just go through what you have and then reward yourself but again if you read one book a month and then you buy 10 others it kind of defeats the purpose unless you also read those books so I would I would highly encourage you not to just collect books because I find myself guilty of that buying books and reading books completely different hobbies and unfortunately I have both um well <laughs> It's a good thing I don't only have the book buying hobby, but you know, it's still it's still a thing. Um, so yeah, other people might do it uh, because of money reasons, uh, they might be moving, so they, they can't just buy a ton of books, because traveling with books, like moving with books is a pain. It's just packing them, the weight, the volume, it's insane. So that's another high high motivator um also i said i'm not going to buy more books but presents are accepted because <laughs> there is there are two holidays like two main holidays for me at least where i receive gifts it's uh my birthday and which is in may and christmas which is in december and for me that's perfect because they're kind of halfway through the year like may you get half of the year and then December you get the other half of the year if that makes sense um, so whenever I ask for presents I always ask for books so that's a great way to just get books without having to necessarily buy them like you're still gathering books I understand some people that might like, why would you do that why would you ask for more books if you already have that many books but sometimes you just want other books <laughs> It's just, it sounds ridiculous, but sometimes you just want other books and it's what happens. So um, my list is always full of books and I'm so grateful for my friends and my family because they, they just help me with my addiction, I guess. They just keep buying me books. So um, at least on my birthday, I got a ton of books. I also got this collection, which is, as you can see, has a lot of books. There are like 50 books in here. Um, they're short books, but there's still 50 books of them. And then um, I have others as well, because all of my friends bought me books and I'm so grateful. Thank you very much. Another option, if you don't necessarily have that many books, but you do want to do a book buying ban, maybe because of financial reasons, or again, you don't have the space. Libraries are a great resource. For me personally, I read in English and in my country, you don't really find libraries that have English books, besides the fact that we don't really have libraries around, which is very sad. Uh, we do have like one, but you know, um, most of the libraries we have are the university ones and you can't just go if you're not from that university. You need, um, I don't even know what books they have there. Anyway, you can't just go there. So the library kind of fell for me. Um, there's also digital books. I hate reading digitally. I, I always said that I wanted a Kindle, but the more I think about it, I just, the fact that it's completely digital and the fact that that thing, like your book is never fully yours. It can be taken away at any time. It's just, it doesn't sit right with me. I like, much like a serial killer, I like having all of my books like little trophies on my bookshelf so that's a very important thing to me uh, which is why i love reading physical books especially cookbooks like i feel like there's so many recipes online but there's nothing like 
scrolling through a book and being like, oh, this recipe looks nice and these ingredients are pretty achievable. Let me just do that. Like you can't do that with the digital anything. So this is really nice to have on your bookshelf. That's why I have so many and at this point it's ridiculous, but it is what it is. Did I actually give you an update? I've been yapping for so long in this video, but I don't know if I actually gave myself an update. So, so far it's August. So eight months into the year and I haven't bought one book. I didn't buy anything and I'm so proud of myself. Pat, pat, pat. I'm just so proud of myself. I'm so happy with myself. I've never read this much. I've read like 53 books so far, if I'm not wrong. And I just so proud of myself. I went through so many books in my bookshelf. I found so many books that I love and that I wouldn't have necessarily picked up for myself if it wasn't for this. I did buy every single one of these books, but they could have stayed on my bookshelf for a very long time because collecting books is like collecting wines for me. It's, I don't drink wine, but I love books and they have to kind of age on your bookshelf before you're mentally and just aesthetically ready for them, if that makes any sense. <laughs> um, so yeah, again, didn't buy one book and very proud of myself. I did receive a lot of books from my friends. Thank you very much. Um, I went through a lot of them already. Um, almost all of them, except for one Dunmay book and these, I am going through these, but there are 50 of them, okay? Let's keep that in mind, 50 of them. Um, so yeah, so far, so good. I'm so proud of myself. Um, I hope I can keep this up, um, but again, so far, amazing. Just fantastic, couldn't be happier with myself. So if you're thinking of doing a no-buy year or even month, uh, I fully recommend it. Again, for me at least, this doesn't have any rules. Just, it, it does have rules, but you make them yourself. It's not restrictive in the way that, oh, you have to do this and you have to do that. And if you don't do this, you're fitted badly and just do it for yourself. Just make your own rules, honestly. If you want to just go full turkey and don't buy anything for an entire year, or you can do, a month I'm not going to buy any books and the next one I'm going to buy a few and then the other month I again I won't buy any books and at the end of the year it adds up you know and you'll go through the books you have and just feel proud of yourself for reading them and also you'll realize that hmm, maybe I don't need to read to buy that many books all at once no matter how fantastic it is because I, I understand the feeling it's just the dopamine rush is insane. I just, I understand. <laughs> so I've been blabbing for such a long time to say such a little point, but yes, this was me. This was my book buying ban year. Yes. Um, and so far I'm really proud of myself and I hope you can take this endeavor on as well and just be proud of yourself too. So I'll see you next time and please like, comment if you've ever did a book buying ban or if you're considering it and for how long and um yeah i'll see you next time bye i just give the earth my soul hear my thoughts bounce off the walls